What's new to Sweet 2? This tutorial is for Sunlight Sweet 1 users and outlines the new features in Sweet 2. The first thing you will notice is that the menus have been replaced with a ribbon bar. All information is now saved in a .shw show file. Suite 1 show files can be imported. The page panels have been redesigned to be more ergonomic and to save space. Buttons can now be rearranged manually by right-clicking and dragging. Colour wheels and XY grids now work as pop-up toolboxes which can be pinned for permanent visibility or be automatically minimised. Shift and clicking a button brings up a small toolbox where button functions can be modified. Faders have been changed to rotary dials. These dials save space and allow a higher definition. They can be adjusted just as easily as faders by selecting the dial and moving the mouse up and down. Date and time triggering of buttons now uses a graphical calendar. Direct access to easy show functions is now possible without having to rename buttons. The patch manager has been changed. Fixtures can now be patched using a grid view. The button editor is easier to use. When fixtures are selected, common presets appear in the preset window. Channels can also be modified in the old style. The Easy Step window can be used as before, or the new Easy Time window can be used. Easy Time now works with timelines, allowing you to quickly and easily drag and drop an effect. Suite 2 integrates a palette function. So templates can be made for common presets, such as position, then be applied to many scenes. The cycle window now contains a timeline view. A brand new standalone editor allows you to write directly to the internal memory or SD card without the need for saving and importing your scene buttons into easy standalone mode. Advanced live controls from the fixtures window. It is now possible to have a group of fixtures listen to a particular button, then add and remove fixtures from the group at any time. 